Hi there and welcome to episode 3 of Circle of War Room 2. And today we are going to be attacking the, Macedo the, the Macedonians? Why do I think that's Macedonian? Why do I think that's Macedonia and not Sparta? Because it says clearly says controlled by Sparta. Uh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused with flags. What does the Macedonian flag look like? Ooh, that's not what I want to press. Where's the diplomacy? Diplomacy! In order to construct oh, Macedon's a like a uh, oh, go away! The list, and then Every time, every time I have to supp suppress advice. Right, so Macedon is uh, more of a sun type thing. Sparta's the upside down triangle. So yes, today I will be attacking Ready, this mine settlement. And yeah. I seem to have a fair amount of money and stuff, so maybe I should do some recruitment. Um, hire mercenaries, any mercenaries that I can hire? I can't afford. Oh, right, yes. Let's press enter instead. End turn. So what happened while I was ending turn? I'll tell you what happened when I ended my turn. Brundisium, my port settlement, is now blockaded. And, what's this? Far from home and unknown lands, they have lost their way. A minor setback, perhaps, but a setback. Military setback, too. It's just these guys. Ready? No, we'll escape. Either way, I want to siege. Encircle! Let them cower before Rome! Exactly, let them cower before Rome. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, that's interesting. If it's under siege, my spy can't actually get in there. So, Brundisium. Hmm? And also you, Brundisium, you are being attacked by this enemy fleet. For which I don't have a defence at the moment. And my nearest fleet is over here. But we are surrounded here by... Armies. Ready we are beset battle. on all sides by Commander. stuff. So let's uh, let's actually recruit some units here. So we've only got one Hastati at the moment. And... Definitely want some more Hastati. I'm thinking that do we want some Principes? Yeah. Let's get a few princip Principes. Principes. Principes? Something like that, anyway. And Arminium. 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 Kind of tempted to go and attack Veneti, Patavium, up here as well. I don't really want to fight too many wars. Hmm. These guys have a huge army there. So, who's Patavium then? Let's have a quick look at the diplomacy map. So, my relations with these guys are pretty unfriendly. In fact, my relations with everyone are pretty unfriendly. Ooh, I could actually attack the Etruscan League over there. Wait a minute. Diplomacy. Is there anyone else in the Etruscan League? Oh, I've got neutral with Syracuse. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And what about these guys? Unfriendly, unfriendly. Everyone hates me. Everyone hates me. Oh, especially Sparta. I wonder if I can actually uh, open up a trade agreement with. Uh... If I can give you a fair answer, you will have it. Please give me a trade agreement. Oh. Okay. Fine. Fuck you. Didn't want your trade agreement anyway. But what I will do is move across to move across to Valethri. What I want is that Alalia. Or should I move down to Rome? What would be the best place? Well, if I moved across, I would have to leave there. I think the best place to go is Rome, actually. I go directly across, and then I can take. The Actually, no, that's one big town. For some reason, I thought there was two towns. Hmm. Why am I suffering from lags? Let's go to Valithri. To your duties, men. And then we will attack from that direction. And we're just going to keep what we have here. It is an honor to serve Rome. I mean, I am tempted to take my fleet out, but I can't actually move it anyway, so... There's nothing I can really do there. So let's check our research technology. 
Iron Tools still one turn left on that, so that's fine, that's end turn. And Sparta have charged out against me. So this is the first time I'm going to fight on the battlefield. Let's see what happens. Why does it say manual battle is disabled then suddenly? So what are we up against? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Hastate, uh, a bunch of Velites and... Wait, are they Velites? Or are they Velites? I can't remember now. Spearmen! Oh, crap, and they've got bugger all. So... We've actually got fairly... Um, fairly impressive force here. We're fighting on the coast. We're fighting on this big hill here, so... You know what? I'm quite impressed with this force, actually. So let's group you up as my number ones. And bring you all the way out. We're going to stretch you out as far as you can go. Even further than that. Beautiful. My Velites. Let's bring Levers to the rear. Velites. Battle Group 2. Let's stretch you out again as far as you'll go. And then my levers. Gives us strength. Um, should I put you at the top over here? Why not? General. Same with my uh, same with my general. Actually, I think actually. The problem with the AI in these games is they always tend to go for the weakest link. And if you just shove your armies all together in one place, they just have to come straight for you, won't they? So let's do that and start the battle and see where the enemy are. Oh, they actually have some. They have some ships over there. For I have seen the gods. I know their plans. I do. It's true. I know the gods' plans. All my guys here. And, and what? Draw swords and what? I don't know what, what it was you had planned for me after you drawing the swords. Do we have fire at will on? Send a shot, flaming shot. Ooh, flaming shot. Quick reload. And fire at will, I guess. When are they going to be in range? General is under attack. You guys are going to fire or what? Well, if you're not going to fire, oh wow, look at that. That was great. The men shouldn't be wavering. Right, General's men. We totally outnumber these guys. General's men, straight through the flanks. On my order, withdraw. No, you are not withdrawing. You will all die. Have they now? Which victory point might that be? Take out those slingers, my good man. Right, set up my uh, my levers to uh, engage these guys. Ooh, and that's it then, I guess. I don't even need to finish those guys off. 
How many do I actually lose? I lost about so half of them and half of them. I lost about one unit of relatives. Probably about a hundred men. So let's end the battle there. On land and sea, achievement unlocked. So I deployed nearly two thousand men. I lost one hundred and fifty odd, and I killed over a thousand, oh, just about a thousand. They deployed one and a half thousand, and they lost a thousand. So yes, that definitely went in our favour. Nice decisive victory there. I think we will enslave, kill, enslave, release. Hmm. The enemy and their allies will look favourably if I release them. The enslave will have an effect on public order everywhere and kill. Not alive, killing every last survivor may satisfy a thirst for blood, but your enemy and their allies will take grave exception to this. Hmm. Kind of tempted to kill the captives because the enemy of the enemy may actually like me. Release them might actually increase the increase favour with my enemy and their allies, but kill the captives. Screw it, kill the captives. Oh! There's a spy there as well. Who we managed to kill. Now that's good. The rest of the turn will now commence. A new technology. Right. The Senate will be pleased with your work to further Good. The brave men of this army have been known by many victories. Only their courage facing the enemy exceeds their skill to arms. Good. Food shortage, yes, I know I've always got a food shortage. And it looks like these guys are seriously thinking about some sort of attack. Let's recruit some more units here. Get some more Hastati. And some Velites, I think. Hmm. Getting a bit worried about that. Is this the Etruscan League as well? Yes, this is the Etruscan League. And they've abandoned that area. Wow. Commander. I really want to get into a ship and sail off into the distance here. Can I um can I please go into the I can't, can I? I would need to get into a port city. The nearest of which is Neapolis. Is Roma not a port city? No, Roma is not a port city. Right, I need to bring my entire army down to Neapolis then. I need to do it fast. To your duties, men. So let's bring them down to Roma. I'm not too far from Neapolis now. And over here, on the other side of the map, down here a little bit, these guys don't have any army left now. A very large army or fleet spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single <laughs> force. I know that. Um, let's sort of resolve that. There's no point in us doing that. 16-11 against 4-4-4. We had four times their troops. And if we do a balance stance, we'll have 92% of our remaining force. The settlement is now under your control. Good. I know. Thank you. Um, so, we can loot, gain some money. But then, it'll be inst unstable. Public order details. Occupy. Oh, if I raise, provincial instability is minus one per turn, and just goes to minus five. Conquest, next turn only, it's minus fifty. So, I suppose it's either occupy or roll raise. I'm just going to occupy it, to be honest. I don't want to offend too many people. And I've increased in rank as well, which is awesome. Come so let's get this guy, let's level him up. And let's give them some traditions. Probably formidable fighters, actually. 3% weapon damage inflicted by all melee units. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, and some general details as well. So what's he got so far? He is plus one authority, minus one corruption, plus one cunning. And authority, zeal. Cunning and range, or cunning and range. So, 
tend to go for some more authority or zeal. Zeal, because I've been using him in battles more recently. Whoa, what's all this stuff? Are these all of his, um... I think these are all of his traits, aren't they? Wow. Minus one turns to recover from wounds. Whoa. It's pretty cool. We hunger for battle. Right. So we've done pretty well over in Apollonia. 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 Apollonia here. Apollonia here. So we're gonna sit there and chill for the time being, while our Ooh, we could assassinate the general there. So solicit traitor poison. Ooh, Let's go and try and poison the general. Uh, Enemy assassinated. Well there we go. Assassination is the tool of all great <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So we've assassinated a general that was coming up to uh, take back Apollonia. Apollonia. Oh, and oh, this is bad. Brundisium has actually they've landed in Brundisium now. So I'm besieged. I'm beset on all sides by my foes. This isn't this isn't good at all. But we have very low public order in Brundisium and in uh, Cassentia here. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I can do anything to sort out because I'm already upping that to a fishmonger's. There's not not a lot else I can do there. I have an army here, an army there. Both are out of range of Brundisium. The Spartans seem to want to take one of my cities now that I've taken one of theirs. So I guess there's nothing left to do now apart from to end turn. Oh, well, there's technology to research, I guess. Uh, physical conditioning. Plus 5% morale to all land units. Kind of want that. 15% damage. All land units. Plus 20% ship health. Yeah, let's go for some physical conditioning. And we'll end the turn there. The order in which reinforcements yep, take to just the battlefield as I thought. can be determined by left clicking and drag. Go away. So just as I thought, we have the Spartans are taking Brundisium here. So I'm just going to auto resolve this because there's no chance I'm going to do anything against this here. Um, they have a huge army. Decisive defeat, of course, it is they they outnumber me like eight, nine to one. Let's go for an aggressive stance. Ha! Ship sinks straight away. And they've taken Brundisium. It looks like they're sailing... Ooh! Straight away. They seem to be coming straight in for the attack. For the assault on... Uh, on Apollonia. Apollonia. So let us fight on the battlefield for Apollonia. This is my city and you are not going to take it. Although I have no idea how to defend a city. Um, they're coming on via ship aren't they? So they're probably going to land. They could land anywhere. Oh, there they are. Ha! Well, that solves that mystery, I guess. Right, let us sort out some troops here. Sort out some troops here. And some more troops over here. Um... Wow, we actually lost half of our general's forces in that last battle. So I'm wondering where they're actually going to land, though. Are they just going to go straight in and land directly on the shores here, or, or are they going to try and do something funny, some sort of funny business? Um, I don't really want to spread my troops out too much. 
I'd love for them to just land straight on the shores here. Uh, Velites. I could spread out my Velites a little bit. See if I can coax them into... No, let's start the battle and see where they move off to. Take time to explore the battle user interface. Press buttons and click on graphics for details of their function. Well, thank you for that. Well, it does look like at the moment they're going straight on. They're coming straight in to see us. And that will be good. Right, we want fire arrows. Whoops. We definitely want fire arrows. Fire! Burn the wretches! On me! In the name of Rome! At speed! Right, we're gonna have these fire arrows soon. Missile infantry ready! Relites! Missile infantry at your command! Velites! Missiles ready and waiting! At the Your orders! Double time! At speed! Come on, guys! Velites! Let's get in position. Brave Romans to a man! In the name of Rome! Levies! At the double! By your command! This is, um, I'm trying to align my troops as best I can. I'm hoping that these guys are going to come straight into us. It's looking like they are at the moment. They're sending their spears in first. What have they got here? Javelin men, hoplites, hoplites, royal spartans, javelin men, and javelin men. What do Royal Spartans carry? Spears and stuff. Oh god. This is going to be a massacre. I am rather worried about this. Missile infantry ready. Right, let's see what happens then when they come to land. Come on guys, fire at will. Here's the flaming arrows. The first set of flaming arrows on each ship. Levies! Right, Levies back. We await your command. Hold Romans all. Quick we obey. Right, it looks like we've already sparking some sort of retreat from the from the spears here. Which is good. Um but we've still got a lot more to go. Velites. These Velites are doing alright here. Ah, Hastati are doing okay. Me. Right, we need to bring our Velites back. Here, over on this side. Right, they have definitely landed over here though. Come on, Hastati. And have they landed over here yet? They've not landed over here yet. Right, bring the missile infantry back forward a little bit. And back over here. We have a full-on battle going on. Let's sweep around with the levies. And the Velites as well. Try and flank them with our ranged. Let's bring some more reinforcements for this fight over here. The men, are the men shouldn't be wavering. We're not doing too badly against these guys, but they won't come out of their ships, so we can't actually attack them. Over here... Right, let's bring in some more reinforcements over here. Ah, oh, we are fleeing the field of battle over here. 
Let's see if we can't get our general involved. Jupiter gives us strength. Right, that sorted that out a little bit. Trying to sort my armies out here so I can flank them from behind with my ranged. And over here, how are these guys doing? Oh yes, we've we've seen off another ship. That's good. We want to do as much damage to that ship as possible. There's not a lot left on there. 72 men. And over here, yes, these are starting to turn in our favour now as well. So let's bring the Hastati round. Let's see if we can't flank them a little bit better. The enemy general is slain, yes. That is definitely what I'm talking about. Let's finish these guys off, these hoplites. And what happened to my general? My general's still here. Doing well, and that looks like it. That looks like that's the battle. All I can see are scared soldiers running for their lives. Fantastic. Victory is ours. Let's send that battle there. Bloodthirsty achievement. Ooh. So how did we do? Oh my god, that was a decisive that was a seriously decisive victory. I deployed fifteen hundred or so. Lost two hundred and eighty eight and killed over a thousand. They deployed just over a thousand and lost just over a thousand. Your army has suffered casualties and requires fresh recruits to replace This is true. Numbers. This is very true. Is in a That's why it's in the friendly territory here and not moving. Fantastic. Um I'm gonna kill these captives because I'm fed up of the uh of the Spartans taking the piss. And let's see how the rest of the turn plays out. Good work. Rome has need of new units in her armies. Okay, so desertion. One garrison army in Cosentia. Your lack of funds has caused desertions, leaving your army severely weakened. Okay. Mission issued. Muster army. The Senate feels the mustering of additional armies would allow us to extend Rome's borders and protect the people. Raise an army of the following settlement, Apollonia. Hmm. Turns remaining 11. I get 500 gold for it and a call to arms. What does that do? Plus one army recruitment capacity for all provinces. Hmm. But the first things first, I am beset upon all sides by the Etruscan League. So At your command. I have a small band of Hastati here. We hunger for However, I also want to go and take back Brindisium. And I don't think, yes, they have nothing. So, if I'm able to... You cannot attack in your current stance. Okay. None will escape. Let's do that. Ready for battle. Let's do that. Patrols. And set up some recruitment. Let's get some more... Principes. Or... We've got two sets of uh, we've got three sets of relatives. So let's finish our relatives there. And then maybe two sets of principes. And we will be taking back Brundisium very soon. Uh, in terms of this army over here, you are quite content just sitting around. What can I um set your stance? Force march, no. I'm just going to leave your stance as is. And you should replenish your forces very soon. I will be sending my spy across to... I do want Sparta, but I also want the Athenian settlement. So let's go to Larissa here. And... Hmm. Inside a bit of unrest? Yeah, why not? Inside a little bit of unrest there in Larissa. See what happens. Sabotage failed. Okay. But increased in rank anyway, which is good. Let's level her up. And give her what should I give you? What have you got so far? Cunning, evasion, authority, and critical. Minus two construction costs plus four percent wealth. 
Wow, that's done. So I can give you inside and rest 20 public order this action. Uh, in intercept orders plus one pieces of enemy information discovered. Uh, plus one authority, manipulation, persuade, plus 10% chance of success from manipulation, 10% chance of critical success in assassination solicit trader, plus one zeal and movement speed, plus one cunning, uh, manipulation 10%. Ooh, poison. Now I used poison before and it was quite successful. So that one. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll go for the furtiveness. Go for the poison assassinations. That's pretty cool. Um, yes, yeah, so I definitely need to take Brundisium back at the end of this. And is Cassentia in uh, still in dire need of food at the moment? Yes, minus seven food, which is really bad. I really, I should have never. Um, I should have never upgraded it. Oh, and I don't actually have an army to go and attack. Um, the Etruscan League with now. Does this mean I should raise a new army? Possibly, possibly. But if I secure Brundisium here, I can I will have a spare army in my main states and I can go back and attack the Etruscan League. So yeah, I think that's that's the plan. Secure Brundisium, rearrange my armies over here, then attack the Etruscan League. But I think that can wait until the next episode. Um, I'll bring this episode to a close here because I've waffled on for over half an hour and although it's been very exciting I'm sure you're very bored of my voice by now <laughs> but yes as ever I will say thank you very much for watching until next time bye bye now